Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com. And in this tutorial, we're gonna give an overview about how we could insert data within our heap. So to get started, to make this tutorial as simplistic as possible, our key is going to be our data. So there are two steps that we should consider whenever we insert our data. The first step is always to insert at the last available position. The second step depends on whether or not our heap is a minimum heap or a maximum heap. If it's a minimum heap, we compare the data that we just inserted to its parent. If it's smaller than its parent, we just swap. If it's not smaller than our parent, we know that this is the right spot for the data to be. We continue to do this up until the root node. If it's a maximum heap, we just do the opposite. We compare the data we just inserted to its parent if it's greater than the parent, we swap. If it's not, we know that this is the right place for our data to be inserted at. And once again, we keep doing this until we reach our root node. All right, so let's give an example of a minimum heap. So given the following data, let's insert it into our heap. So starting with 100, since our heap is empty, this becomes the root node. So we insert at index 0. Moving on, let's insert 70. 70 gets inserted at index 1, and since that's the last available position, we then compare 70 to its parent, which is 100. And since 70 is less than 100, we swap. Inserting 50 now, 50 gets inserted at index 2, since that's the last available position. We compare 50 to its parent, and since 50 is less than 70, we swap positions. Now we insert 125, so it gets inserted at index 3. We compare it to its parent. And since it's larger than its parent, there's no need to swap, so we can just leave it here. Let's insert 45 now. So we insert at the last available position, which is index 4. We compare it to its parent, so it's smaller than 100. So we swap. We check to see if 45 is smaller than 50 now, and it is, so we swap here as well. Moving on, let's insert 60. 60 is less than 70, so we swap. Is 60 less than 45? No, it isn't, so this is where we stop. And inserting our last data, 10 is less than 60, so we swap. Is 10 less than 45? It is, so we swap once again. So that's pretty much the basics of insertion for our minimum heap. It's literally the same thing for our maximum heap, Except when you compare the child's data to the parent's, you only swap if the child's data is greater than the parent's. 